Dundee United went into this game with three holiday wins behind them. And they're playing with a confidence not felt at Tannadice for years. Andy McLaren twice denied there early on for them. Well, to say that Kilmarnock endured a first-half bombardment would be an understatement. Here's Olufsen's cross for Mark Perry. Off the post. Bobby Williamson's men had marked Riley's free kick to count as their best chance of the first 45 minutes, which amazingly ended goalless. The scoreline changed 13 minutes after the restart. Morris Malpass, the veteran who's playing some of the best football of his career, makes United's possession count. McLaren with a corner and a great bullet of a header by the United assistant manager. And then it was 2-0. Peterson's free kick only half cleared. Ray McKinnon. What a goal by the midfielder. Killy, dead and buried now. 2-0 to United. Just look at the power in this shot here. A rival for Jörg Albert. Some power. Well, United now going for a third. One of their best players this season. Undoubtedly has been Robbie Winters. Here's his effort, blocked well there by Drago Jelikovic in goal. We haven't yet heard the name of Paul Wright mentioned, the Kilmarnock striker. Here he is now, and that's a great block in the line by Grant Johnston. But it wasn't to be for Kilmarnock. United made it four wins on the trot. The last chance fell to them. Shellowson's cross, picked up by Andy McLaren, but it remained 2-0 to United.